Sunday and I have no idea what we're gonna do. <laughs> um, normally I have a game plan for Sundays but because of quarantine things have just gotten all sorts of random and we don't really have a big activity to do today. We have thought about going hiking actually but it is not looking good outside um, and we really don't want to get rained on so I think we're gonna nix that plan but I think I'm still gonna do a couple things. I might paint today a little bit. Jason was talking about doing a puzzle, which could be fun. Um, we bought one before quarantine started, uh, mostly because we had bought one before quarantine was a thing, before we knew it was gonna happen, and we did it and it was super fun. And so it got us like on a puzzle kick. <laughs> puzzle kick, we did one puzzle. <laughs> um, but then we bought another one and we haven't done it yet, so maybe we'll do that today. Uh, and I know we have to do some grocery shopping because we're running out of food and tissues and other essentials. So probably gonna go out and buy some of those and um, maybe I'll take you with me. See what's going on outside in the world. Sure, absolutely nothing crazy because no one's doing anything, but <laughs> it'll still be nice to get outside of the house. Um, yesterday, we actually did some social distance socializing, I guess that's a bad way to say it, but we um, had a couple of our friends um, meet us at the park and we all sat in a huge circle six feet away from each other and just talked for a little bit, which was really nice because we hadn't seen people in so long. Um, so it was really enjoyable to just be able to sit there and catch up and see what people have been doing and how they're handling staying at home all this time. So that was good. And then last night we actually had this <laughs> really fun drawing session. Sometimes I like to ask Jason to draw with me. Um, you know, sometimes we do stuff that he likes, and sometimes we do stuff that we both like, and sometimes we do stuff that I like. So every once in a while I like to sit down and draw with him. I think it's really fun. Um, and I usually let him pick the subject matter for when we draw together, because I, I think that's only fair. If I'm gonna force you to draw with me, you should get to draw something you want to draw. And last night he actually picked um, one of the characters from his D and D game that he's playing, and it was really, really fun to draw. Definitely outside of what I <laughs> normally draw, um, it was like this big amoeba, amoeba blob um, that was a bartender in the storyline, and he had apparently like absorbed a human being that was like decaying inside him and that was how the blob was able to talk i don't know it was really funny um and so jason basically gave me those like very little tidbits about what the character was and then um we just went ahead and drew what we thought it would look like um jason <laughs> kind of gave up pretty early on um because he said it was much harder than he thought it was going to be but I had a good time. I finished mine. I thought it was really fun. I like drew it and colored it. So I might show you that later uh, just for kicks and giggles. And then, uh, yeah, I could get started with my day. And that's what we We don't want to get back to Monday. Back to Monday.
So I just made, finished making lunch and I want to come on here and show you guys that drawing that I was talking about earlier <laughs> that I did for Jason's D&D game. Um, I just thought it was super cute and I thought you guys would want to see it. Check her out. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so funny. I love the, um, like all the things that I drew that he had like sucked up as he <laughs> went over it, like the sandwich and an ear of corn <laughs> and the screwdriver. I just thought this was so funny. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. I spent way too much time coloring it like a moron, but it was a good time. So. <laughs> Jason and I had some lunch and then went out and ran some errands, um, just basic grocery shopping, um, picked up some food and some Kleenex and some other stuff. We had to go to Target and Whole Foods and then we had to stop by CVS because <laughs> we had to get stamps. Um, I have been putting this off. I, mean, I wouldn't say putting off. We've just been doing it very slowly. So we have all of our thank you cards um, for all the gifts that we received for our wedding. And um, we've officially written them all, addressed them all. Um, the only thing that we haven't done is put stamps on them all because when we did finish them, um, we didn't have enough stamps. So they've been sitting <laughs> in our dining room um, just waiting to be stamped and then put in the mail, which I feel really bad about because, you know, all these people gave us gifts and we're just sitting on our thumbs <laughs> with these thank you cards. But that ends today. I'm going to stamp all these babies and then I'm going to walk down to the nearest um, mailbox and stick them in so they can get sent. And that'll be the end of that. I'm gonna watch some videos while I do that um, and then probably do some painting afterwards, I think. Okay, so see you guys in a minute. My headstone reads, didn't make much difference. All my thoughts and deeds and all my love. And no one sang a song to change my world. And no one saw the colors that I Learn to show some feeling Fenestrate my soul Hey guys, so my camera died while I was painting, unfortunate, um, so I don't have any um, process shots, but I did want to show you what I finished up, the small piece of that gnome um, painting that I started the other day. So I just did another small portion of it, as you can see here. Sorry, the lighting's not so great. It is so, so gloomy outside and we basically lost every ounce of natural light in our house. Um, but I just wanna show you that. I think it turned out cute. Um, definitely not my strong suit flowers, but I think they turned out nice. Nevertheless, I really like the leaves and the stems. So I'm just gonna keep trucking with this one and um, I can't wait to have all the little pieces done and have a whole painting. So anyway. Um, Jason and I are going to work out <laughs> and um, probably eat some dinner after that and maybe start working on a puzzle. I'm not sure. 
I would really like to. <laughs> Maybe I'll force him to do it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go get changed and go get my sweat on and I will see you soon. workout post shower feeling good ready for dinner in my comfy clothes check out this dope dope sweater that my sister picked up for me from goodwill i mean it's got deer it's got sparkles it's got mountains it's everything a girl could ask for in a crew neck, that is. Um, okay, so I'm going to make us a casserole that I've never made before um, with no recipe. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm trying to use the gluten-free pasta boxes that Jason accidentally bought pre-quarantine. He doesn't like gluten-free pasta, so he's been buying other pasta boxes. I'm gonna use them. <laughs> um, I figured baking them into a casserole would be the easiest way to mask the weird texture that sometimes the gluten-free pasta gets. Um, this is like gluten-free This stuff's made out of rice flour, which sometimes gets a little soft, a little mushy. Um, our preferred gluten-free pasta of choice is actually chickpea pasta. Um, we really, really love that stuff. It's super full of protein and usually a little bit less calorie dense than regular pasta is. So we love that. But like I said, this was an accidental purchase, even though it says gluten-free in giant letters on the top of the box. So there are four of these boxes. I'm going to attempt to cook one into this casserole tonight. So I'm going to mix up some veggie broth um, and get some cashews soaking and grind those up and mix them in so it's nice and creamy. I've got some nice veg to cut up. I love fennel, it's great flavor. All you people who like leeks, it's not where it's at, fennel. Fennel is where it's at. Um, and then <laughs> some carrots and scallions, some other things, we're gonna chop up onion and then saute those all together and then add in some artichokes. And then I'm going to cook the pasta and then mix all of that together and then maybe top it with some um, day of cheese or some breadcrumbs or something and stick it in the oven. And then, fingers crossed, it doesn't taste nasty. <laughs> so I'm gonna get to chopping. That was me doing the way you can't see it. Chopping. And then uh, <laughs> I'll show you how it turns out. Let's go. Okay, so the veg was sizzling for a couple of minutes, and then I just added in another portion, probably about like half a cup or three-fourths of a cup of the vegetable broth into here. Um, now I'm just gonna turn this really down low, let it simmer while I wait for the pasta to, well, wait for the water to boil and then wait for the pasta to cook. Over 
everything's looking good. Now I'm just gonna put some breadcrumbs and cheese over this and stick her in the oven. Delicious. All right, the breadcrumbs and cheese have been added along with a drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna stick this baby in the oven at 425 and keep her in there for about 30 minutes. Let's go. Bye, dude. So this looks really good and smells really good. We're gonna go eat this and watch some TV and then maybe come back for puzzle time? I don't know. If not, night. It is time. edge pieces but um I can't find like three of them and I think that I am just too tired to see them because I've sorted through the box twice now so <laughs> I'm going to call it quits and try again tomorrow Jason might try to look for them tonight too but it's midnight and I'm exhausted so <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed um but today was fun Thanks for following along with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want